All right, great. In our previous lesson, we saw that income does not equal cash. Now, we'll see that a similar observation can be made for expenses. Expenses that we see in the income statement are recorded during the period in which they are incurred, regardless of when the transfer of cash occurs. Similar to what we saw for revenues, cash can go out at, before, or after we recognize an expense. Let's consider the following example. The firm that sells office equipment pays $1,000 for rent. We'll need to draw three T accounts, cash, rent, and trade payables. Now let's consider the first scenario when the payment and the expense recognition occur at the same time. We will pay $1,000 for rent. Our cash will decrease by $1,000. And because it is an asset, we'll have to credit it for $1,000. And then we'll debit rent for 1000 because it is an expense and it increases. Let's think of the second scenario. The firm could delay its payment by, let's say, 60 days. It receives an invoice for rent but is unable to pay it and communicates that it will pay its obligation in 60 days. In this case, the firm will debit its rent account for $1,000 and will register that it owes $1,000 to its landlords. We'll have to credit trade payables for $1,000. Then, after 60 days have passed, the firm manages to find the money and pays its rent. We'll have to credit cash and debit trade payables for $1,000. The debt has been paid. In the third scenario, the landlord asks the company to pay its rent in advance. It would then have to pay its rent before recognizing an expense. Let's add an additional T account that will be named prepaid expenses. Here we will show that we have paid for a future expense. This is an asset because it represents a claim that we have. Our landlord is supposed to provide us a service, and he technically owes us at this point. So, at first, we'll have cash going for $1,000 and an increase in prepaid expenses for $1,000. Both of them are assets. We'll have to credit cash because it decreases and then debit prepaid expenses. Then, when the time comes and we register rent as an expense, we'll credit prepaid expenses for $1,000 and debit rent for the same amount. Here we are. The end result is the same, but the timing of payments in the three cases was considerably different. This lesson reinforces our message from before. There is a difference between the recognition of income and expenses and cash payments.